So the, the first important question is, how do natural gas vehicles and transportation fit in broadly? Right? And, and uh, we believe that transportation can benefit across many segments with greater use of natural gas. Probably the most important point, though, is that these are very tough national problems we're talking about with our national energy security, with climate change, local air quality benefits, uh, and economic growth. If we deal with any one alternative in isolation, we're simply not going to be able to get there. What we need is a portfolio approach. It's going to include electrics, biofuels, eventually we believe fuel cell vehicles. But what's emerging today because of the shale gas uh, revolution is that we have this new opportunity to add another important factor to the mix, and that's natural gas transportation. All right, so where's this going to be two or three years from now? We, we think that that a couple things are really going to drive tremendous growth in the next two or three years. The, the first is simply the markets. If you look at the price of natural gas at retail stations around the country today, on average, natural gas, CNG, on a gasoline uh, gallon equivalent basis is about $2 a gallon. So already, it's a tremendous, tremendous market pull. The question is going to be having the policies that help us get over that initial hurdle, uh, because we're talking about a very entrenched technology with uh, gasoline and diesel vehicles. It's universally known by consumers, and so the work that we're trying to do is to get the word out to what the potential is for natural gas for fleet owners, uh, for the, the long-haul trucking as our early wins, but ultimately all American consumers.